And please remember, in this video guide, we only talk about the Comport edition of Bit3000. You must collect it with a computer via a RS232 box we offer you, which looks like this. And if you are using an upgraded network edition of Bit3000, please refer to the BTS4000 manual. Here we serialize two Bit3000 together, and this is how the front panels look like. And these are the rear panels and the cable collection. After you hooked up all the cables, power on the hardware, launch the BT3000 software. You will notice that the software detects all the instruments and adds them to the left side. From this screenshot, we can see there are two BT3000 instruments connected with this computer. One is 5 volts, 5 mini MP. Another is 5 volts, 3 MP, right? And both of them have 8 channels. By right click on any of the channels, you want to start up a test. Select Start Up from the pop up menu, and the Step Set window shows up. In here, you can choose Testing Steps and set up all the conditions according to the battery test you want to do. Here, we made up a typical test as an example. The whole testing process is Step 1 Rest the battery for 5 minutes. Step 2. Use constant current to charge the battery until the battery voltage reaches up limit. Step 3. Rest the battery for another 5 minutes. Step 4. Use constant current to discharge the battery until the battery voltage goes down to the bottom limit. Step 5. Cycle this charge and discharge test for 5 times. Check all the conditions and the steps you set up. If you are ready, click OK button to start the test. OK, great. So far, you already knew how to start a test, right? Following that, we'd like to see how to load the testing script you already have and how to view the testing data. If you already have the step working files saved, you can reuse it in the future. Just follow my instructions. By right click on the channel and select Open Data Item from the pop up menu. Then you can open and view the testing data of this channel. The client software will open the BTS DA and load the testing data for you automatically. You can view the testing data and all the detailed records. If you want to use the testing data in other software such as MATLAB or LabVIEW, then you can use the data export function to export the test data to XLS format for further use. And here is the last thing. You can view detailed channel information.